it's Tiffany. I am here with an entire case of the Miniverse Make It Mini Appliances Series 1. I'm so excited for this. There are eight different appliances to collect in this series, and I think there are eight capsules inside a case, so hopefully we'll be able to find all of them. But let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, I ended up moving the case off to the side because it got a little cramped on the table here, but this is the look of the capsule. So I have this little tag here. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut off. But we have the Make It Mini appliances. We can see this cute little soda machine here on the front. There are two styles of each one, so technically there's four to collect, uh, but there's eight to collect. So you can get two styles and colors of them. It's really fun. Anyway, another thing to note is on the side here, it's going to tell you what you're going to get inside. So much like the holiday Make It Mini Foods, um, you're going to see what you're going to get on the side. So it looks like a little soda machine. It has the little orange. So not this one. I would think this one. Uh, but maybe, maybe, maybe not. Maybe it's either of the soda machines. I'm not sure. But you'll at least get a general idea. I don't know if it's specific to the style or not. Anyway, <laughs> you get you could possibly find this soda machine, um, this soda, this juice machine, this espresso machine, and this boba machine. Anyway, let's go ahead and open this up. Let's see what we're going to find. Oh. All right, so if we look at this a little closer, I'm seeing just the orange bottle. So I'm thinking if this is definitely the orange machine, this it probably tells us specifically which style we're getting. Alright, and then let's get this next layer off. So here is the look of the capsule. It's all solid colored. Go ahead and pop it open. So we get, okay, we actually got the lemon lime one. I thought it was the orange one. Alright, so we got the machine. So here it is. And these are like little buttons that you could press and it dispenses. Um, let's see what else we have. We have these two pieces here. Um, this should be, actually this, where does this go? This would go somewhere. Oh, this might be the top. Is this the top? Yep, that's the top. And then this is going to be the bottom. There we go, snap that in. Oh, gotta get snap in on this side, perfect. So that's the look of the soda, sorry, Sunfizz company um, machine. And then let's see what else we have in here. So we have our little checklist and stuff. We'll open that in a second. Got this little paper here. Whoop. And then we have this. We'll open it in a second. And this. Let me move these off to the side. And we'll go ahead and take a little look see at the checklist. And it does have instructions in here. I have opened one of these already. Make sure you go check out that video. Um, so I don't think I need the instructions. Fingers crossed. <laughs> All right. We've got the soda fountain, the espresso machine, the boba machine, the juice dispenser, another juice dispenser, another boba machine, another espresso machine, and another soda fountain. So. You can see the little orange was what I was talking about, the pattern of it on the wrapper. That's why I thought it'd be the orange one. So I think it's just uh, safe to say that, you know, if it has a soda machine on it, you're going to get one of these two styles, you know? I don't think it's very specific. So anyway, we've got this soda fountain. It shows you everything you get, and it shows you how to make the items. So you can see in the machine. The only downside to this for me personally is cleaning it after because you can't wash resin down your sink. Or you can't wash it down your drain. Um, so what happens is you stick the resin bottle upside down in the, the juice side essentially or wherever and dispense it that way but it gets all you know clogged with resin. So cleaning it up afterward is a little bit of a pain. Um, so that's my only complaint. I don't know how to make it easier for cleanup. But that's the only downside to it so far. Otherwise, I've been pretty happy. So let's go ahead and open these things up here. Oh, this is so fun. So we've got little to-go container. That's adorable. And we've got all of the stuff you need, essentially. We've got two cups and two lids. And we've got straws. Which is going to be interesting on like how we cure these and how this is all going to go down. We'll figure it out. 
All right, so I got all of that out and then we'll open up the resin and the ice. All right, here we go. We got the ice. This is like coming off piece by piece. And then we've got the lemon lime resin. All right, and then we got these two little, I don't know, coasters? Let's say they're coasters. All right, so what happens is we take this and then we open it up and then we go ahead and we tilt it upside down into here. That's gonna be interesting. Like, will this close all right? Yep, I guess it does. Okay, anyway, we do that. So it sits like that and then we open up the ice bag and then we put it in the, this is what I'm most excited about, the little ice dispenser. <laughs> That's so awesome. So you can see I put some ice in there. Actually, you can't see. I put ice in there. And now we're going to go ahead and close it back up. Kind of, sort of. Actually, I don't know, man. I don't know if it really closes. Huh. Maybe I do it this way? Maybe I'm putting it on wrong. Oh, I was putting it on wrong. We're good. So that is so cute. I'm obsessed with this. I'm gonna let the resin sit there and kind of uh, go to the, the bottom there. And then we're just gonna bring this through and we're gonna dispense it and fill it up. So let's go ahead and start with the ice. So we just push in, actually let me take them out of the to-go cup. I keep thinking you press this. So we push in on these buttons back here. Oh my gosh, that's the cutest sticking thing. All right, um, the machine might be out of ice. <laughs> there we go. All right, so I'm just gonna start off with a little bit of ice. Maybe we'll top it off with some ice later. And then, like, putting the straws in, I might be able to do this in layers, really. I mean, you could, there's ways. But it would be a little weird. So, let's open up the straws and just get ready. We got some peach straws. And then we'll dispense it in a little bit. But from previous experience, we're gonna to wanna to let it kind of sit for a second, okay? So what we can do is open up another one while we wait patiently. All right, so getting this other one. Now actually, okay, never mind. On the front, it shows you what's inside, doesn't it? Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's not open that one yet because this is going to possibly, this is going to be a boba. So it shows you, whoops, oh gosh. Not only on the front, but also on, not only on the side, but also on the front. This this one's boba, that's boba on the front. Hold on. Let's put that one back and then look at this one. So this is the other soda machine. Is it going to be the lemon lime one? That might be another indicator. So let's open this one up. And if it's not, if it's the other one, just know that you gotta look out for the side and the front. If it has a soda machine on it, it's just gonna be one of the soda machines unless it's very specific. So we'll find out here in just a second. Let me just go ahead and open this up. Moment of truth, almost. Okay, so it's the other one. All right, in recap. If it has a picture of a soda machine on the front and on the under wrapper, the second layer, it's going to be the soda machine. But there's not a way to tell, like right off the bat, which one it is. And that's okay. <laughs> All right, so we've got the orange soda machine here next. Let's go ahead and pop this little tray on here. So this is gonna work exactly the same. We have the ice and we have the orange soda. So let's go ahead and get all of our goodies out of here and get that out of here we have the checklist and stuff we'll just set off to the side so we have both of the soda machines which is great fantastic but that's really cool it's really it's, I love how it narrows it down for you don't have to worry about it I'm gonna go ahead and open this orange soda up we're gonna place it upside down in there and then I'm gonna open this up. Oh yeah, I gotta, gotta do the, uh, the ice as well. But we have the same stuff in here. We have a to-go container. We have the two lids, the two cups, and the same color straws and everything. So it's pretty much the same, just different sodas, different color machines. And then I'm gonna go ahead and open up the ice. 
and fill up our ice dispenser here. All right, perfect. And then we did get these two little coasters. All right, so we're working on both of these machines right now. I'm going to pop this lid on and we're gonna kind of revisit this guy over here. So I'm gonna take our cup. We're gonna go ahead and push in on this button. Is anything happening yet? <laughs> it's a little slow. Hold on, oh, I see it, I see it. Do you guys see it? It's coming out. I don't wanna tilt it accidentally. I also don't want my fingers to block it. I feel like it's being blocked, but this is really awesome. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. I wanna make sure it gets in there. It's definitely slow because again, it comes down to like the resin falling to the bottom and everything. I feel like we should just open all of them and then come back and do everything. I don't know, maybe we should. <laughs> this is so great though. Oh my gosh. You can see it's kind of filling up. I'm gonna close it for a second. No, I'm not, I lied. I don't wanna close it. I kinda wish I could keep it open. This is really fun and I like that I can just you know, push in the button and then it dispenses. But at the same time, if it is slow, I kind of want it to just sit there. <laughs> kind of like the um, spoiler alert, I opened up the espresso machine or one of the espresso machines and I was able to like, it stays open so you can let it sit there and drip, drip out. But you can see here, it's starting to fill up. Got that lemon lime soda in there. This is awesome. I kind of do want to, oh, it's actually starting to flow quite well now. Well. I say that, but <laughs> not not quite quite well, but it's flowing well. Uh, it's like a consistent stream now. But I'm also trying to show you guys without blocking it too much. So you can see it's coming out like crazy now. So I'm gonna fill it up, I guess, as much as I can. And we'll stick the straw in and go from there. But I love this. The, so the soda machines were definitely the ones that were on my top, top to find because then the other ones, the espresso and the two Bobo machines. But those are gonna be fun too, I think. I'm excited. I feel like, I definitely feel like we should go ahead and open some more and then come back and redo some of these just so that it'll be faster in the dispensing. But here it, here it is. It's filling up. Also, I kind of find it hard to believe because the resin bottle is the same size as the usual resin bottles. They're not any bigger, but somehow we get two cups, so we should be able to technically fill two cups worth, which is kind of crazy. <laughs> I don't know. Don't you guys think that's weird? Like, uh, when we usually get, I mean, I guess we still have some like leftover resin and stuff whenever we do that, but I just want to show you what it's looking like so far. And then what we'll do is stick our straw in. Maybe. We gotta get it under the ice and everything. And then we will um, cure it and everything. I kinda wanna top it with ice. That's kind of the problem. Like I wanna be able to top it with ice, but I understand that's, that's just not gonna happen. So what I'm gonna do now is I think we'll go ahead and let me move this off to the side. And we're going to open up another one just to give uh, the soda machines a chance to <laughs> kind of settle and be able to dispense more. So I'm gonna kind of put them here and then we'll just line them up. And I need to open up those straws, but also what I can do is just use this ice, right? And then go ahead and put that together like so. Yes, there we go. I like that. And then we'll cure that as is. So I just use the other cup to add the ice to the top. So I'll have to cure that. But that's our first drink and I couldn't be more excited. But like I said, we're gonna move on to another one. I actually don't know what I did with that bubble one. I think I might've put it back in the bottle or in the box. Ooh, oh goodness, it's rolling away. So let me see, this is what I want. So this, again, 
picture of the boba machine on the front, picture of the boba machine on the side. That's gonna t that's gonna tell you it's a boba machine inside. All right, cut the tag off, and let's open up this next layer. This one I'm very intrigued because obviously I haven't opened this one yet. We have all the goodies. Oh goodness, I spilled it out. Hold on. This and this, and then of course the little thing that says made fresh. And then here's our machine. So we've got the, what is it? I gotta look at the checklist. Doo -doo -doo. The, it doesn't say, it's just purple. Happy Farms Boba Machine. Okay, we got the purple one. I don't know, I'm gonna, should I call it grape? Oh goodness, there's lots of pieces to this one. See, all right, we have this which attaches to this, like so, and then this is the top for here, and then this is the bottom for here, right? Is this the bottom? It seems like it's a little wide, I don't know if it fits, but this one is definitely the bottom for here, okay? This one I'm concerned doesn't fit well. Oh, there we go. I think I might have got it. Oh, there we go. So this just slides pretty easily so you don't have to have those connected. I'm going to put this oops, back in here. And by the way, these pieces do come out of all of them. There's gray pieces in there and that makes for easier cleanup. It's still hard to clean it up though, in my opinion. So anywho, this is our little boba machine. And then we have these, which are like little stickers boba sticker stickers let me see let me see how this all works how does it work oh i think i'm doing it the wrong way hold on hold on wait is that right did i do it wrong i think i'm doing it the wrong way i don't know <laughs> maybe i'm not doing it the wrong way I'm just gonna go ahead and do it this way. So we got boba stickers. There's like literally so many of them. Let me start here by getting our boba in there so that we don't have to worry about that dispensing. Maybe these are larger bottles. I feel like these are the same size bottles. No, they're the same size. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing. Let's put it in there upside down. Like that, perfect. And then we have the boba tapioca balls. We have the little coasters. We have some ice. And then I'm gonna set that back there to do its thing. And then we have the stuff, the cups and stuff here. Okay, got it. So we have the to-go container. We have two thicker straws and then two cups. And they don't have the tops because we use those stickers as tops. And here's the ice and the balls. All right. Do I, what do I do? <laughs> I feel like I should open up the other boba if I can find it. If there is another boba, there should be. Um, at least another boba here. Hold on. We're looking. We've got the espresso. We've got the... Is this a is this a boba? That's a juice. Hold on. Okay, I got the other boba. All right, should be good. So same picture on the front here, and let's open it up. Let's get this tag off. Oh, I just knocked over my soda. But here's my soda. It's all cured. I'm gonna put it over there, and open up this this last boba here and then I think this is uh, opened enough to the point where we can go ahead and start probably dispensing everything because the table is getting a little crowded we're gonna need to move some things along all right so all of the boba stuff here we've got the usual here's the machine aha I'm gonna call it the peach boba so of course we have the machine and all of this stuff here for the machine. So this gets a little 
stand, and then this also fits the stand. Maybe, possibly. Oh my goodness. This is really in here. Oh, there we go. Whew. Good luck getting that out. And then of course the top. But yeah, the, the little Bobo ones are really cute. Okay, so we've got the inside stuff. We've got the peach juice, the ice, and the boba bubbles. And here's the little coasters. I'm gonna go ahead and open our peach juice. Stick it in there upside down. And I'm gonna put these two together. All right, and then, oops. Let's open up our other thing, whatever this is, the lined capsule paper thing. <laughs> All right, and we have the same thing. We've got the to-go cups, we've got two cups, and whoop, the thicker straws. All right, so this is our setup for now. We still are gonna be opening up the espresso machines and the juice ones as well, but we're gonna go kinda back here to the lemon lime machine. We're gonna dispense some ice. There we go, we got some ice. And then we're gonna press in on the lemon lime here. You can see it's starting to come out. So we'll be able to fill this one up hopefully faster than the last one. If not, that's fine. But the boba works the same as this soda machine in the sense of pushing it in to get it to dispense. So we'll be doing that for all of these. I feel like, I don't know, I feel like this might be a little slow. So sit back, grab a snack, um, and we'll just talk about, how about Miniverse? <laughs> but really these machines are so super cute and I love them and the reusability. Um, you can literally make so many different drinks and everything. And just playing with them, just having them on display and making like a little fast food restaurant or whatever. It's just really, really fun. I love it so much. So we are going to be dispensing the rest of this lemon lime here. And I kind of want to do something else simultaneously, but that might be a little too risky. Uh, but we are almost done. I'm going to get my flashlight ready. Uh, but we're almost done here. I need to get my straw and my lid. And I'll try to top it with ice as well. I'll probably do. Well, I, don't, I, can't, I can do the same thing. I can get a cup of ice. Use this guy over here. And use his, this cup to get the ice. So we'll just do that. Um, we're almost as full as I'd like it to be. <laughs> And then we'll be done with this one. Oh, this is just so cool. It literally says, oh, no, on that side. It says, keep it cool on this side. <laughs> but seriously, for real, so cool. I am obsessed with the soda machines so far. I love the boba ones. I really do. They're cute. I love the stickers so far. And the machines really look amazing. But the soda machine is definitely my favorite thus far. All right, we're almost there. So I got to keep in mind I want to add this ice on, in there and I don't want it to overflow or anything. And then we got to add the straw. So maybe I'll cut it off at that. There we go. All right. Then we're going to go ahead and top it off with some ice. Yeah. Oh, maybe I should have waited to put so I could put the straw in and then put the ice in. It's fine. And then we'll go ahead and I should get rid of this big bubble. Goodness. Um. We're gonna put the lid on next, like that. Perfect. And there's our lemon lime soda. And I'm just gonna go ahead and cure that off to the side with my little light. And then we get to move on to this one over here. I'm gonna add a little bit of ice just on the bottom, because why not? And we're gonna dispense this orange soda. Now I don't, here it's coming. I was gonna say, I don't have the straws unpacked yet, unfortunately, but that's okay. We'll get it. Uh, so there goes the orange soda dispensing here. Oh my goodness. I do need to fill up the ice on this other one, so I may as well go ahead and do that. There we go. Oh gosh, too much ice. <laughs> 
<laughs> that's okay I needed some for the top of this one anyway so we're gonna go ahead and do that I do have the lid or one of the lids and then the straws of course I could try to do this one-handed I mean it makes sense right ah yes I can do it one-handed <laughs> alright I got one straw out and then let's get the second straw there we go I'm gonna be careful not to knock over the cup of ice because that would be bad. <laughs> this is definitely dispensing a lot slower than I thought it would for sitting as long as it did. But what are we gonna do, you know? Resin isn't, the UV resin isn't as fast. Once it gets going, it has a pretty steady stream. But uh, definitely not as steady as I'd like. <laughs> but with, I think I just haven't been putting the amount of ice in it that I should be putting in just because um, I think with the resin, right, you're supposed to put in more ice so that the resin goes further, essentially. So, anyway, I wonder if I should cut it there. Should I? I could add more later. Let me just go ahead and cut it off there. And then we'll add in some ice. There you go. Kind of want to, I'll just try to mix it up here. And then we'll kind of go and see what it looks like from there. I think that looks pretty good. I just gotta get the straw in. Oh no. Alright, we got the straw in and then we'll put the straw or the lid on. So there's our orange soda. I'm gonna also cure that one. And then, <laughs> so now it's time for us to do the other soda, but I'm gonna cheat a little and add some resin in there just to make it go a little further. Also to add a cute little ombre effect I guess. So we got some resin in there right now and then I'm gonna use this cup to get some more ice. Nope. I think I used all the ice. <laughs> Did I really use all the ice? I might have. Hold on. Yep. Okay. My bad. Um, just one second. Let me see if I can probably grab this machine. Yeah there's still some ice in this machine. And then Yes, at least I have some ice there. I got two pieces. That's all I got. All right, I've used all of the ice. <laughs> so I got two pieces of ice. I'm just gonna leave for the top of the drink, top of the beverage. Uh, you can see we've got a, a yeah, clear and orange soda going, but once I mix it up with the straw, it'll be okay. There are some ice cubes in there now. I feel like I need to Definitely mix those around and get them, them working to the top. <laughs> um, it is almost full though, which is really nice, but we don't have as much ice to make it look even fuller, so there's that. But anyway, uh, we can bring over the other lemon lime soda because I believe she is cured fully. So here she is. Looking tasty. I'm going to put her in the to-go. And then I'm actually going to put the Sun Viz back there. Because we are all done with that one. Oh, gosh. I forgot about this. Are we good? Yeah, we're good. <laughs> Luckily, it doesn't come out really fast. So, we're going to put that back there as well. And we're going to stir it around. And then I will go ahead and put the last of the ice on top, the literal two ice cubes. And we'll get the lid, put it together, and there is our final orange soda. So now, now we're moving on to the bobas, which is so fun. I'm excited to check these out. We do have the little tapioca balls, so I'm gonna open these. And we're gonna put some in each one. I don't wanna do, oh wait. With these, it's complicated because the straws should go in before the tapioca balls do, but that's usually um, not how it goes because uh, we can't put the straw in under the thing. Whoops. So we'll just, let's have to figure it out, you know? We'll, we'll mess with it. We have a couple tries. All right, I think I used all of the the balls here. Okay, so I have all the boba balls. I don't know, do I do the ice? I feel like I need to do the ice. Do I, I'll do the ice last though. I think that would be smarter just to top it off after I put the straw in and everything. 
All right, so this is our first boba. We go ahead and we press it in like so. And we should, yep, we're already starting to see some of the boba come out. It's actually working faster than the soda machine did. <laughs> um, but anyway, we have that coming out. And like I said, we have these stickers. I'm just gonna take them all off of this one roll so I don't have to unroll the other one. But it's really cool, it has like the, I don't know if they're sticky all the way around or how this all works, but um, the little straw hole's cool. And we do have a lot of straws that we need to unbox. So this is the straw. Uh, let's see, I have one. And then here's the view of the, the boba coming out of the machine. Two straws. Three straws, and then, whoops, four straws. All right, perfect. So, I could also put the straws on top of the bubble bubbles, but that, mm, I have to probably cut it. I don't know. We'll see how it all unfolds. Um, I don't think I was pressing in that <laughs> thing enough. Whoopsies. So anyway, we're just waiting for this to come out. It's looking great so far. Oh gosh, how did that happen? My bad, my bad. Um, but it's looking great so far. I am concerned about getting the straw in, like I said, but I think it'll be okay. And then we won't run out of tea because we have the, the uh, ice. But anyway, here's one of the orange sodas, I think. I don't remember if this is the first one or the second one. And the other one's still curing. But it'll be done shortly. I'm just obsessed though. It's so cute in the background. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyway. Yeah. Oh, I could. I could. This is going to be risky. Do I do it? This is what I'm going to do. I wonder. No, never mind. I was going to say, I wonder if I can connect these two together. But I can't. Um, but what I was thinking... <laughs> is I risk it and oh, try to dispense this one as well while I'm doing this one. <laughs> it's definitely a risk, but we're gonna, we're willing to take it. This one's, oh, oh gosh. This one decided it's done. Um, it's not fully full. It's not fully, completely full. That's okay. That's okay. We're going to, what do we do next? I have this that just started dispensing. So, <laughs> um, yay. I don't know what I should do. I guess I'll just let it dispense for a little, a couple more seconds. And then we will go in and put the straw and stuff in that purple one. All right, that should be good for right now. So, let's set this one off to the side. We're going to put, I'm actually going to cheat again and add a little bit in myself here just to make sure we have enough, you know? Because I don't know how much that ice is gonna cover. All right, so now mix it up a little and then we're gonna go ahead and try to find a spot for our straw in there. I think I got one. Now there's no boba bubbles on this side and I really want to somewhat evenly disperse them. That actually looks really good. And now, we'll add the ice, okay, and another ice. I really don't know how, like, the sticker's supposed to stick to it, or how this is going to go. Yes, okay, so this is a sticker, and then you go ahead and pop it right on there, like so. Perfect. Yeah, I don't know if that's like technically supposed to stick to the resin or how that's all going to work, but that's the look. Oh, I love it. I'm going to start curing it and I'm going to bring our orange soda over here. This one looks fun. It looks fizzy and fun. <laughs> all right. So where was that our last one? This is what we were working with here. Um, I'm going to cheat on this one as well. Just add in a little. That's a lot, <laughs> but a little of that. And then we'll go ahead and dispense some more and we'll mix it up and go from there. But this is so exciting, I'm so obsessed. Now, there's two more bobas to make. 
I don't think I'm gonna make you guys sit through it because you kind of get it and it, it does take quite a bit of time it's not fast it, it looks like this one's starting to come out quite a bit faster but um, it does take quite a bit of time so I think I'll make the other two bobas off camera so that you don't have to sit through it <laughs> and then we'll definitely come back with obviously the finished product of the bobas and we'll come back with hopefully unboxing both of the juice dispensers and both of the espresso machines I can't wait especially the espresso machines I'll be able to kind of just open those and let them sit and fill up them themselves <laughs> But this is so fun. All right, you guys, I have both of the juice capsules. So, well, before we do that, I'm going to bring in the bobas. So we have these two finished. The other two are curing. But I love these. They're really cute. Oh, obsessed. All right, I'm going to put those back there. We're going to wait for those other two. But we're going to open up these juice dispensers. So there's like a raspberry and an orange, I think. Let's go ahead and open it up. So we're gonna open up both of them. <laughs> and honestly, I guess I should have done the espresso ones. It's fine, I'm just gonna open all of them and do kind of the same thing I did before. It's gonna be fine. All right, and then let's get this tear strip open. All right, let's get that open and then We'll go ahead and pour all of this out, I guess, or not. This is kind of stuff in there. All right, so I'll take the paper and that off, and we'll open up this next one. So we got the raspberry in that first one. I'm hoping, and there's no confirmation that these aren't going to like, be duplicates, but I'm hoping, and since this was a fresh case, <laughs> That they are, oh gosh, they are different. Okay. And moment of truth, different. Nice. Okay. So it's like lemonade. Oh, not orange. We'll take that. Let's get all of this stuff off of here. So much random packaging. Alright, so let's get this one out of the packaging. We've got the usual like little stands and everything. Perfect. All right. So first things first. This was our raspberry juice. The layout is exactly the same, um, except it has crushed ice on this side. So it's a lot like a boba and a soda one combined. It's actually crazy. Um, but before I put the ice, one real piece of ice in there, <laughs> I'm gonna put these little bottom pieces on. There we go. One and oh gosh. Well, I lost that. I'm gonna have to go look for that. So just stand by. And then put this one on. These do take a little bit of muscle. And these should slide. Do these slide apart? Yeah. Okay, these slide apart just like the bobas do. So it'll be easier to put the bottoms on. I wonder if you could mix and match these almost too. And put like one of the boba rolls with one of these, you know what I mean? Anyway, oh yeah, look, cause there's a slidey thing on this side too. Or yeah, you can, you can connect all of them. <laughs> all right, so I need to go find the piece for this, but let me, maybe we can open up these first. Let's see. Okay, these other two are finished by the way. So we're going to put them back here. All right, we got a beautiful array of drinks back there. Anyway, I found the piece. Wait, where'd it go? Well, I thought I did. What did I do with it? Honestly, you know what? I had it and now it's gone again. <laughs> Literally had it. It's just gone. That's really weird. Um, anyway, okay, we're just going to go ahead and finish opening this up. So these are actually like slushies. I didn't think they were gonna be like slushies, but that's even better. So we've got the slushed ice, and then of course the juice. I'm a little worried about putting the juice in this one just because I don't have the bottom piece, so maybe I don't just yet. Um, anyway, let's open up. I don't know what's what at this point, but I think they'll all have the same kind of cups and stuff. 
This is literally the same setup as the soda fountain. We have the same cups, the same straws, everything. And then, let's see what's in this one. We'll just have the juice in this one. Maybe. I really am so puzzled. I don't know where <laughs> a bottom piece went for that. Anyway, we got the slush ice. We've got the juice. I'm gonna go ahead and put this one in here though. Actually, crushed ice, that makes sense. I was like, I wonder why it says crushed ice. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna put this on top here and that's good to go. We have two little coasters that say keep cool. And we got the same array of objects. Go ahead and get all of these out. I have a little bit of a mess going on right now. But I'm going to try not to lose track of everything. Okay. So let's get, I guess, we can go ahead and get some of this stuff out of the packaging. Like the straws. And then we'll have cups. Well, that we'll figure it out as we go along. We definitely need, definitely need to put the crushed ice in the crushed ice maker. I kind of want to just put... Since this one's all sketchy right now and it, I can't, I, like, I don't want to, I'll just put it all in here. This actually looks really cool. I wonder how it's, how well it's going to dispense. So you can see it in there. It looks amazing. I'll just start with that one. And then I should get the rest of these straws open. So we got one and two. Perfect. We have the two to-go containers, but I'll set those off to the side for now. Here are the other coasters, by the way. But again, setting it off to the side. So, let's see. Since we opened, let's maybe go ahead and put... Oh, jeez, I pressed that. All right, we're going to open or dispense the crushed ice. So that's what we're looking at. I don't want to... Oh, I set it down and a bunch of it just came out. Um... I'm going to go ahead and actually add in this raspberry because I'm not going to put that in there without the little guard at the bottom because they have been kind of leaking out as I'm looking in the back at the soda machine. Um, I'm going to take the little straw and we're going to mix this up because this is a little slushy and we need it to be mixed up. I don't know. I probably should put the resin in and then the slushed ice and then mix it. It might be a little better. That way you make sure you don't have any plain ice in there. But this is awesome. I'm really glad they ended up being slushies. Alright, so we got that. And then it needs a little bit more slushed ice. So we'll keep dispensing that. Oh, that might be a little too much. But that's cool. That actually looks really good. Kind of want to leave it like that. Um, and then we'll put on the top and cure it. Oh my goodness, it looks so good. All right, I'm gonna leave that to cure over there and then kind of doing the same thing here. It's just a little faster to <laughs> pour it in here. All right, so I got the most of the resin in there. I'll set that off to the side. So now I'll go ahead and put, I'm gonna definitely have to dump the rest of the crushed ice bag in here, but where's the straw go? Oh, here we go. So we're gonna want to make sure this slushed ice is all mixed in. So it looks really good at the top, but I kind of want the effect at the bottom too, but also kind of fine with it. Kind of like it. Kind of want some of the plain on the top too. Oh, like the other one. Let's see. All right, that's all I could get and that's fine. I'm going to go with that and then we'll put the top on and that's so fun. I love that. All right, I'm going to cure that. So those were our raspberry ones. This piece is missing. It's my bad. I don't know what happened to it. Maybe my cat jumped up and moved it, but like, I don't remember. Um, so I'll go ahead and put that back there with the coasters. And then we will refill this slushed ice, or sorry, crushed ice, and get these made, these lemonades, these lemonade icy freezies. Okay. So let's put the crushed ice lid back on and we're going to go ahead and add in, actually, there we go. <laughs> we're 
we're gonna then go ahead and start dispensing our lemonade which of course this is gonna take a while um, it's not it's already coming out quite a bit but it, it'll probably take a minute so the plan is to do it like I did the last raspberry slush dice where I fill it up as much as I can with the resin and then I mix in the slush dice after and I think I should go ahead and get uh, we're almost done well, no, I think I am going to go ahead and get the espresso machine out here soon. Um, both of those opened, and then we can dispense those while we work on dispensing these, maybe, or something. Anyway, there's a ton of random slushed ice here on the table. I kind of want to try to save it, um, so I'm just going to kind of sprinkle it into the cup. But anyway, it's not turning out too shabby. It looks like we got quite a bit here. I might want to do kind of like two layers where I... Go ahead and add in the slush ice and then add in more resin. I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go ahead and dispense some ice. Look at that. Beautiful. Can't pick up the straw. Hold on. Technical difficulties. All right. So we'll go ahead and mix all of this up. And almost definitely need some more resin. It's a nice lemonade slushy. It looks so good. So our raspberry slushies are done. They look amazing. They look so good. I'm very thirsty for one of those. Now I'm going to put them back here. By the way, I did find the bottom piece, but I can't find the top. I don't know where it is. Uh, but here are the lemonade slushies. They also look amazing and delicious and very refreshing. So now we're moving on to the final ones and we have the espresso machines so you can see identical packaging and hopefully hopefully they will be two separate espresso machines so one wrapping and then the second layer perfect i'm gonna wait to open that we'll just get this wrapping off as well maybe possibly there we go one layer and then the next layer, perfect. All right, so we have two capsules. First one is, of course, the espresso machine. We know that. Um, we have the pink one. Oh my goodness, so cute. Let me set the instructions off to the side. This is adorable. I love the pink color. It's like a dusty rose pink, dusty rose pink. So cute. And then you have this that you open up and then the resin will come out and then this top comes out. That's so cool. Oh, it looks so good, the detail. And then I'm gonna wait to open those. Ah, yes, we have officially got the full set. So we have the teal espresso machine. Perfect. All right, that's exciting. I'm really, really glad. Whoops, I'm dropping everything. I'm really glad we got all of the ones we can collect from series one that's kind of crazy so let's go ahead and start creating some what is it lattes is it lattes mochas and lattes so this is the mocha one this is the latte one i don't know if it's going to be much different i'm going to assume the latte has a lighter coffee uh, that would be my best guess all right there's one so this is the mocha and we'll go ahead and just start off by putting it in there and getting it ready and let's make sure it's closed yep we're good perfect and then we also got whipped cream two whipped creams and we got two spoons and then let's see what else we got in here we've got two saucers yellow ones and a mug, two mugs, two saucers, two mugs. So we got a cute little coffee shop aesthetic going on. That's amazing. I think that's everything in that one. And then, those over there. Let's see what's in these ones over here. Uh, we got, well, we got the, hold on. Let's open this first so I can get the resin going in there. We've got the same deal. We've got two spoons. We've got whipped cream, and we've got the latte coffee. And I do think it's lighter because of the cap. Oh no, it is very 
resiny. I think this has a leak. Oh goodness, it definitely has a leak. All right, well, let's get it in there and get it going. Wow, that is leaky. I'm not gonna put the top back on because I wanna be able to wash that off. But anyway, that needs to be cleaned up. Let me clean that up before I move on. That is well, not cleaned off the bottle, but I cleaned it up off my hands and the table. So moving on, we've got the blue saucers and blue mugs. Oh goodness, there we go, perfect. This is so exciting. I love it. So we have those two. I also am just not sure how these are gonna cure because you know this the UV light won't get through the cup itself. So it's almost like it has to cure through the top fully. I don't know, science. But anyway, super cute. I'm ready to get started here. So I'm gonna just go ahead and put this under and then you flip it. So that's why I like this one the most, just because I like to be able to sit it and let it do its thing while I <laughs> do other things, I guess. But I also love the idea of pushing it in for a drink for like the soda and the juice. So anyway, you can see it dripping. And then let me see if I can get this one going. I did just put this one in here though, so. All right, let's see. It's coming out, I think. Do I see it? Maybe not, maybe I'm imagining things. I also don't know if there'll be enough in this one because it did leak out. I guess this one's not quite ready yet. Let's just wait for that one to sit a little bit longer. And then we'll revisit this one, but we have the whipped cream. So one thing I was thinking, like how are we gonna best do this? I think what we'll do is we'll fully cure the coffee and then put the whipped cream on after it's fully cured. So I'll fully cure it, do a little dollop, put the whipped cream on like that. I think that'd be the best, the best way to do it. So we just gotta wait for this to drip out and fill up our coffee and we should be good to go. All right, so I've been working on the lattes and mochas. So we've got, I wanted to show you with and without the whipped cream, obviously. Yeah. I put the whipped cream on and I was like, mm, can't see the coffee. I kind of am thinking maybe I do one with, one without. It just, I don't know, I like it. So this one has a whipped cream. You just can't see much of the coffee. And then this one looks really nice. It's really, really delicious looking. And then these ones I didn't put whipped cream on yet, but pretty, pretty simple. And then I do have the whipped creams to put on, but I think I kind of want to just leave them be because this is the espresso machine I unboxed before and I put the whipped creams on the last one. So it'll be fun to have a variety. Let me know in the comment section down below which of these Miniverse appliances is your top favorite. I'm going to choose the soda machines as my favorite, but specifically the lemon lime one. I just love the bright red color and it just looks so fun, but these were all a ton of fun and they're also pretty and cool. Let me know your favorite though. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and I will see you next time.